on this episode of NASA Cribs. What up, NASA Cribs? Astronaut Mike Spanky Fink here. Talking to you from Houston, Texas at the Johnson Space Center, space station mock-up facility where we train to fly in space aboard the international, the one and only international space station. This is the front of the space station. You can either go left or right. And when you do that, you can either go to Japan or off to Europe. Let's go. Here you are in my friend's a module called Columbus, built by the Europeans. Well, this is where we do a lot of science. When I was up here, we worked on things like the bio lab, fluid science lab. We had a microgravity science glove box and a physiology module that we could actually do a lot of good science. Great place to do science, Columbus. Yo, NTV Crib, Spanky here on the audio terminal unit, ATU. This is how we talk to planet Earth from up here in space. This is where we say things like, Houston, we don't have a problem. Houston, it's awesome. Hey, look, no long distance charges apply. Konnichiwa. This is the Japanese experimental module. Codename Kibo. It means hope. This is a hope in the dreams of Japanese people for future space flights. And it's the largest module aboard the International Space Station, the quietest and the cleanest. Come on board, check it out. All right, you wonder what this is? This is an airlock. What it does, it opens up to our back porch, and we've got one of the coolest back porches in the universe. It has a robot arm. Now, how many of you have a robot arm on your back porch? I'll tell you what. Now, you know every crib needs a place to hide those things that you don't want your friends, your, your, your family to see, especially when they're coming over unannounced. Well, we got one of those closets, too. It's called JLP to you and me, JLP. That's the Gem Logistics platform, and uh, we have one of them right here. And yo, NASA Cribs, the best way to get up to our closet, you can see there is no ladder. There is only way to go is to fly. So what I recommend is using my patented trademark Iron Spanky Maneuver. You put your feet together, you put your hand up, and you go. We're in Node 2, also known as Harmony. Harmony, this is where we sleep. You can sleep on the ceiling, you can sleep in the floor, or on the sides. I help build these things, they're awesome. Great place to get some rest. They're nice and quiet and dark, and uh, this is what they look like. Welcome aboard the laboratory module, Codename Destiny. All right, we have uh, the world's largest robot arm control station right here, the robotics workstation, moves Canada arm number two around. As well as a bicycle. It helps us uh, keep in shape but it is really cool riding the bike all the way around the world. Welcome aboard the International Space Station Russian segment. And this one is called Zvezda, which means star. Service module completely self-contained, oxygen systems, carbon dioxide removal systems, 
computers to run both the Russian parts and the rest of the space station, as well as a place to sleep and a place to eat. I don't know about y'all, I'm hungry. Let's go. All right, food. Very important aboard the International Space Station. And thank goodness we've got an international cuisine. We've got food from Russia. They'd like to send it up in cans. We have food from the good old US of A. Sends up in the pouches like your meals ready to eat, you know, like the army guys have. Good stuff. We even have stuff from Japan. This is called rice boiled with edible wild plants. Sounds funny, tastes good. Oh, I'm busy in here. Hey, this is what you've been waiting to hear about. This is what everybody wants to know about. Space potties, right? It's not that much different than the toilet that you might see on an airplane. We don't have gravity to help us out, if you know what I mean. But uh, we do have a nice little seat there. We kind of float above it. So we actually have a little uh, some stirrups to sit in. But what we do is we uh, separate the number one from the number two, the, the liquids from the solids, and then we keep them separated. Some of the liquids are able to recycle and, and uh, use to make uh, oxygen for our air. The solids, though, we don't mess with them. We just put them in that big uh, metal container and throw it away when we're done. This is the International Space Station, ladies and gentlemen. This is where all of humanity comes together, working together constructively, not destructively for you. But speaking of work, I'm an astronaut, I'm busy, I don't have more time for this, so you just get out. 